Right, I'm joined by Aaron Collins and Aaron, from a Bristol Rovers point of view today, not your day today. No, frustrating. We didn't play as well as we've been playing in the last couple of weeks and uh, conceded early on, which obviously put us under pressure. And you've had a great season this season, so, what is, so what's your secret or what's helped you the most to have a season that you've had this season? Uh, just carried on from last season. We've come out of last season with confidence, obviously getting promoted. Um, and then we've carried on this season as well as individually, yeah. And on like, a Bristol Rovers point of view, the season, is it a positive the way you look at the season or is it a negative? Did, did you want to be higher in the table at this point? You always want to be higher, but we can take the positive of being safe and then we can go into next season and work on that and try and uh, obviously push higher. And what's your ambition to finish the season? Uh, obviously challenge for promotion, challenge for playoffs and promotion, but we're going to next season doing the same thing and hopefully we can build on this season. Right, cheers, Aaron. Cheers. Right. right, I'm joined by Tom Pett and Tom, I'm going to start it off by saying what a win. Yeah, a massive win. I think we've had a, um, obviously a, a tricky tricky week and a lot's happened, but uh, we knew we had to get to, back to positive results and um, I think the other night we put in a real good performance, didn't get the result, um, but today we came into it full of confidence and uh, I thought it was a really good performance. And you, you, you said, you, as you said, it's been a tricky couple of weeks at Vale with Daryl going, obviously, so how has that affected the group? Yeah, it's, it's obviously a, a strange strange time. We've got a lot of lads that um, haven't been involved in managers coming and going. So, um, look, we've Cross has been great for us, um, but we knew that we've had some responsibility on what happened and we needed to put that right today, and uh, I think we did. And it's quite ironic how last season I was saying how confident are we for going up to, to now saying how confident are we for, to stay up in League One? Yeah, I mean, um, it's obviously a, 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 big, a big difference in the leagues and the standard. And uh, we've realised that the, the second half of the season, but uh, we know where we've got to improve and we'll, um, we'll certainly do that next few games and, and finish as hard as we can. Right, and your celebration after mm -hmm. the, the goal swing, um, is that because you enjoy golf or is there something behind it? Yeah, no, I've got into golf recently. Um, my me, uh, me coach was there today, so I gave him, uh, gave him a celebration, so hopefully he can give me some, uh, <laughs> some free lessons with that. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. Right, no worries, thank you. Right, I'm joined by James Gibbons and James, I just want to say a massive welcome back to Vale Park. So how do you feel on your return? Um, disappointing because we lost the game, but obviously nice to be back, nice reception, nice warm welcome. Um, but like I said, disappointed to lose the game on my return. And have you enjoyed your time at Bristol Rovers so far? Loved it, yeah. Um, new ideas, different sort of style of play. New city for me to live in, so um, yeah, I'm loving it down there at the minute. And under Joey Barton, of course, you're the type of player that I'd imagine would relish under him, so you must be having a great time under Joey Barton. Yeah, he was a similar sort, aggressive player, um, learned so much off him every day. You know, his sessions, his coaching, his the way he talks to you is all positive, so long may it continue. And um, we've had a couple of, when we spoke to a couple of the players from other teams, they've said, complaining about the pitch, so what's the difference in the pitch from when you played here to now? Um, looks a lot better from what it did in the start of the season. I watched a couple of games at the start of the season and it looked um, in a bad way, but it um, wasn't too bad today. Um, it's obviously dry this time of year, but it's always a big pitch coming back here. Um, but yeah, that was it. Cheers, James. Not my mate. Good to see you. Right, so I'm joined by James Plant and James. Start it off with what a game. Yeah, yeah, I thought the lads did really well. Obviously a big game. Knew we had to win today and we got the job done. Now we look at Charlton away. And on a personal basis for you, you've just graduated from uh, the academy up to the first team. So how big of a step is it from the academy to the first team? Yeah, it's a big step, but um, if you work hard enough and keep going, um, got help from the senior players as well, anything's possible. So we'll keep going, see what happens for the rest of the season now. And what's your message to any aspiring footballers who are looking to break through from like academies to first team? Just keep grafting. Um, if, if you do get a setback, don't worry about it. Go again next week uh, and just think how good you can be if you give everything every week. You'll make it, I'm sure you will. Right, and obviously, what do you think of Port Vale as a club then in the first team? I love it, yeah. Um, just want to keep going now. Um, want to stay at the club, want to be here for as long as possible, play as many games and hopefully um, keep us in the league this year and then see what we can do next year. And you formed quite a friendship with Tommy McDermott, so how much does that help you to settle in? Yeah, Tommy, Tommy's a top lad and we've got a great friendship going. And you know, We went together on loan and now we're training together every day. and um, It's helped me a lot having someone I can bounce off in training and in the changing rooms. Right, and last question. You were at Nantwich halfway through the season, which is actually the club I play for, so how was it at Nantwich? Yeah, very thankful for Nantwich, actually. They were my first loan. Um, I don't think I'd be where I, where I am now. Uh, without Nantwich, so I say to you, keep going. You've got a good club, and 
Um, they'll look after you at Nantwich because they did me. Cheers, James. Cheers, mate.